Hi folks, uh, Mr. MathBlog here. I hope you guys are doing well and um, uh, getting ready for your summer. You're probably getting kind of close to summer anyways. It should be springtime by now. Uh, this lesson is on comparing decimals. It's a pretty easy lesson, you guys. I'm going to uh, access some prior knowledge first, but first let's talk about your common score. So here we're going to compare decimal fractions and review decimal notation for fractions. And so this lesson is how can we compare decimals. So let's uh, review some decimals right here. All right, so this number, this big blue number right here, 3.45 right here, 3.45, the 3 is in the 1's position. And this decimal, this is the first time I wrote that in there, this decimal says the word and. The 4 is in the 10th position, and the 5 is in the 100th position. So, so this actually says 3 and 45 hundredths. You always, add, you always say this number, and whatever number this last number ends in, you end it with that. So here, one more time, 3 and 45 hundredths. Okay, that's how you say that number. So we'll talk about this. So for example here, uh, the city park covers, okay, remember, this ends in the hundredth spot, so I'm going to say the, it parks, it, it covers 65 hundredths square mile. About 19 hundredths of the park is covered by water. Okay, this ends in the tenths. So about two-tenths of the park is covered by paved walkways. Is more of the park covered by uh, water or paved uh, walkways? Okay. That's a pretty good-looking park right there, if I do say so myself. It'd be fun to go in there. Okay, let's says, it says to cross out any unnecessary information. Okay, let's go down here and see what the question's asking again. So is more of the park covered by water or by paved parkways? Okay. So it says the, the city park covers 65, uh, uh, 0.65 or 65 hundredths uh, square miles. I think it's that I don't need. About 19 hundredths of the park is covered by water. Okay, I'm looking to see which one is, is, it, is this one bigger or is this one bigger? Is two tenths of the park is covered by paved walkways. Okay, and so remember it's asking what part is, uh, uh, is more of the park covered by water or paved walkways. Okay, so it looks like I don't need this first sentence here. It's here to um, kind of confuse you. So you got to learn to uh, toss out the information if you don't need it or at least set it aside for later. All right, let's see what else it asks. It says, circles the numbers that I will use. Okay, well, since I'm not using the 65 hundredths, I'm going to be using this 19 hundredths and this 2 tenths. So 19 hundredths is for the water, and then 2 tenths is for the paved walkways, okay? All right, so those are the numbers that I've circled right now. So then it says, uh, what do I need to find? Okay, so the question is asking, is more of the parkway covered by water or by, park, uh, by paved walkways? So I need to find out. Well, uh, if more of the park is covered by water or by paved parkways. All right, so one way is to use a model. This is my favorite way right here, although it would take you a long time, but if you're given these models, it's, it's really easy. Okay, so here I have this one uh, cut up into 100, you guys, because this is ending in 19 hundredths. This is ending in 2 tenths, so I've only cut this uh, square up into tenths. They're the same size square, so they have the same size area. So here I'm going to shade 19 of these little squares over here. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And I'll shade that one right there, not that one, okay? And then over here I'm going to shade two of these, 10 of them. So I'm going to shade that one and that one. So I don't have a shading tool on my program. I can just outline them. So that means that they're shaded right there. Okay, well from there I can see that um, 19 tenths is one little square less than, uh, I'm sorry, 19 hundredths is one little square less than um, uh, two tenths right there. In fact, it's one one hundredths smaller. Uh, you might have to answer that kind of stuff in a little bit uh, later lesson right here. So 19, ten, uh, 19 hundredths is definitely smaller than two tenths right there. Okay, all right, so uh, here's another way. Uh, use a number line. Locate 19 hundredths and two, um, two tenths on a number line. Well, let me go back here before I do the number line right here. Can you guys see that um, um, uh, these two columns right here, when I cut them up into uh, ten little squares on each one of them right here, these two columns it would be, there would be ten little squares here and ten little squares here. Can I convince you that two tenths is the same as ten plus ten, which is twenty hundredths? Can I convince you that over here? Would it, um, you know, if I shaded these two guys, it would be here's 10, here's 10. So it would be 
two tenths is the same as twenty hundredths. So what I'm going to do is do a number line. Think two tenths is equivalent to twenty hundredths. So if I cut a number line up, and, and hopefully your teacher has this number line so you don't have to do a hundred tick marks. Um, and then so just go out to nineteen. So I'm going to I'm going to put a dot right there at nineteen for nineteen hundredths and put a dot right there for uh, twenty hundredths right there. Okay. Notice this is a span of ten right here. Here's a span of ten. Here's a span of ten. Okay. So there's nineteen and twenty right there. Okay. So which one is closer to zero? Well, definitely here's zero over here. It looks like the nineteen is closer to zero. So nineteen hundredths is less than two tenths. Okay. It's less than twenty hundredths. Okay. All right, here's another way. Compare the equal size parts. 19 hundredths is, well, I just said it, 19 hundredths. And then uh, 2 tenths is, uh, uh, this is 2 tenths, which is 2 tenths. That's equivalent to 20 uh, hundredths right there. Okay, so uh, 19 hundredths is definitely less than uh, 20 hundredths right there. So 0 0.19 is less than 0 0.2. Okay, all right, uh, so. Uh, so more of the parkway is covered by, okay, so I think um, uh, more of the park is covered by, I think the two tenths, I kind of got, I forgot, I think that the water was the 1900s and the two tenths was the paved parkways right there. So it's going to, uh, the paved walkway, sorry. So yeah, that's right, I remembered that right. Okay, all right, so there's a few ways to do that, you guys. So how does the number in the tenths, uh, the number of the tenths right here, remember this is the tenths, this is the hundredths right here, tenths is the one, the hundredths is the nine, compared to the number of tenths in two. Okay, and then explain. All right, well the number uh, in the tenths of this number right here is this one right here. The number of the tenths in this number right here is two. So, so the one in the nineteen hundredths has one tenth and the two in the two tenths has two tenths. Okay, so the number of tenths in the nineteen hundredths is less than the number of tenths in the two tenths right there because this is a one right here and it's in the tenth spot. This is a two, it's in the tenth spot. So you can just compare by uh, the decimal place value right there. All right, so to compare numbers written as decimals, always compare the digits that has the greatest place value position. So let's go back over here. The greatest place value position, they both have zeros in the ones spot. Then if you go over to the next spot, is it a ten spot? This has a one, this has a two. And since two is greater than this one right here, then this uh, 19 hundredths is going to be uh, less than this uh, 2 tenths right there. Okay? All right, so that's what that says right there. So use place value to answer this one here. Glenn has 6 tenths of a dollar, and Jamie has 6 hundredths of a dollar. Who has more money? Okay? Well, uh, you don't need to shade this right here, but uh, this is one way you can do it. So your model is to shade in each. Okay, so notice uh, Glenn's is at, at his stops at 10. So I just cut his square up into 10 equal squares right here. Whereas Jamie ends in the 100th spot. So I, I cut this up into 100 little equal squares. Oops, these are rectangles right here and these are squares right here. Okay, so for Glenn, I'm going to shade in six of them over here. And for Jamie, I'm going to shade in six of these guys over here. And then look who has more. Glenn definitely has a lot more uh, than Jamie does right there. Look at that picture. It's quite a bit more right there. So Glenn has more money. Okay. Um, all right. So um, another way to do this is to record it in decimal place value right here. Okay. So I'll put Glenn in. It's 0 0.6. It's 0 0.6. And then Jamie's going to be 0 0.06. 0 0.06. Okay. So when I put those in right there, and then uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, uh, the six tenths right here is greater than the zero tenths right here. So I'm going to put a greater than symbol. So right here, six tenths is going to be greater than six hundredths right there. Okay. All right. Uh, so compare the size of one tenth to the size of one one hundredth. How can this help us compare six tenths and six one hundredths? Okay. Well, one tenth, you guys. I, you know, if I if I graphed or if I shaded one tenth, it would be a whole rectangle of this um, of this square right here. It'd be one tenth of this square. Whereas this one would be one one hundredth of the square. And definitely, this rectangle is a lot bigger than this little square right here. So, uh, six tenths of a whole is larger, definitely larger than six hundredths of a whole, giving six tenths greater than six hundredths. Okay. So it's nice and easy. So let's compare uh, 1.2 and 0.5 and write less than, greater than, or equals to. 
All right, well, what I'm going to do on this one here is do some shading. We could have done, um, uh, put them in decimal place value if you want, and uh, I clicked it too fast right there, but that's okay. This uh, shading 1.2, here's my shading 1 right here, and then this 0 0.2 is 2 tenths, so I shaded this 2 out of the 10 right here. Okay, shading 0 0.5, I didn't shade this one because it says 0 right here, and then this one I shaded 5. Okay, who has more shaded? This one over here has more shade. It has a whole square plus two more, whereas this one just has a half a square right there. So just seeing from those pictures, 1.2 is definitely larger than 0.5. Okay, so how can we use the place value to compare 1.2 and 0.5? Okay, well check this out. The, this one right here is in the ones spot. Over here, zero is in the ones spot. So since one Let's see, what did I say here? The greatest value is in that 1's place, what I just said. So for these two numbers, in the 1.2, 1 has the 1's place. And in 0 0.5, 0 is in the 1's place. And since 1 is greater than 0, then 1.2 is going to be greater than 0 0.5. All right? Okay, guys, I hope that helps. Take care, everybody.